songs, not how much woman you can walk up and who could this and who could that and who could that. That is not songs. Come with good lyrics. Come with lyrics so you could test in other areas. Right? So um, there are many of our artists there that are doing that. And I'm, I, I, I await patiently for um, Sugar Mass. I, I got some stuff there from A.U. Brown that I was going to drop this evening, but I'm going to put them off till next week. Um, some very good tracks. So I look forward to the other artists releasing their songs so that we could pump them, you know, so for, for Sugar Mass. Yeah, um, Brother Curtis, good evening. How are you doing, my brother, again? How has your week been doing? Curtis, you went to sleep. Okay, look like Curtis jump asleep here. Yeah. Um, the, the, the situation here with the um, the parliament opening some. Um, mm -hmm. I understand that they had already selected um, what you call it, a speaker. No, I, I haven't heard that. Who you have heard is the speaker? I didn't hear who is the speaker, but I think I heard the prime minister refer to you will meet the speaker um, at the opening of parliament. Yeah, of course you have to. That is the first business for parliament, the, the right. election of the speaker. So I, I said that to I said that to clear the air because some people think the old speaker is still there. So I'm trying to say to them, no, you will meet the um, the new speaker at the opening of parliament. Every Every opening of parliament, you have to elect a speaker. Okay. So whoever it is has to be elected at that parliament. Okay. Yeah. And, and you don't have a continuation. Every, every new parliament elects a speaker. That's the first business of parliament. Okay. And the second after that, after that is the uh, selection of the, the election of the deputy speaker. Okay. Yeah. So so you have the deputy speaker and the um the speaker first and then the deputy speaker okay and then that position that um i think hamilton had it the the, the other person the paper person that created the, yeah the, the the leader of government business yeah yeah the leader of government business is done by the government that that is not done in parliament that is the cabinet decide who is the person is going to lead in terms of the government business who will communicate with the with the speaker in terms of the parliament agenda in terms of the conduct of parliament you know to make sure parliament is one smooth there's good communication between the, the the opposition and the and the government and so on that as the role of the as the speaker they are getting the other people and, and all of that the point I'm trying to get to, Sam, is that there's still a lot of work to be done before they get to the opening of Parliament. Yeah, but that's not a lot of work. That's just going one day and deciding that uh, yeah. you, uh, the, the, the speaker, they will name. I'm sure by now they have the name of the speaker already, just that it has not been announced. And in terms of the deputy speaker, let me just um, say something about that, because that is an issue. Normally, the uh, deputy speaker um, is usually provided by the government side. But the deputy speaker cannot be a member of the cabinet. The deputy speaker cannot be a member of the cabinet, a senator who is not a member of the cabinet. Okay. Now, uh, normally, uh, the, the government would, would appoint two senators, right? Mm. And uh, if the, if the um, Attorney General is not uh, an elected member, they will appoint three senators. So right now the, the government has three senators, Gat Wilkin, who is the Attorney General, uh, uh, Islin Philip, who is, a, who is a senator, and junior minister in the Ministry of, of uh, social, social, and Economic, social, and, social and Community Development. And then you, you have uh, uh, junior minister, well, not junior minister, she's a senior minister, uh, minister Joel Clark, who is minister of the environment and all of that. So the three senators, well, the two senators, let's say, plus the attorney general have been given cabinet positions. So the government will not be able to um, elect a senator from the government benches. So it means that the, the, the opposition, the senator, the, the deputy speaker will have to come from the opposition benches, right? So it means the senator 
uh, who is appointed by the opposition will be the deputy speaker. And there, there seems to be some um, concern about who should be in the opposition. Uh, when, I, when I look at the numbers, I am of the view that Mark Grantley, unless he pass on the deputy speaker to, the, to, to, to Timothy Ashan, is Not the deputy speaker, leader of the opposition. Sorry, sorry leader of the opposition. Mm -hmm. Unless he choose to pass it on to um, Sean or Timothy, um, he will be the person qualified. He will be, according to the constitution, the, the person who commands the uh, largest block on the opposition benches would be the thing. But but he could uh, agree for Sean or, or Timothy to be the leader of the opposition. But I understand Timothy is campaigning for the position. You think he will get it? No, I don't. I doubt that very much. I, I doubt that. But you think much. you think there'll be two opposition bench, or uh, they're going to come together eventually? They don't have no two opposition benches. Only one opposition bench is there. One opposition bench there. So, so they're not going to move the seats away. No, 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 no. I they know. could seek up a part, but they'll be the members mem members of the opposition. I so uh, CCM brings three members uh, to the opposition. So they have the. Uh, privilege of naming the leader of the opposition and also the senator. And so uh, that is agreed. But the, I believe they will, they will sort out that. Uh, my, my take on that is that I don't know if we will have uh, the Mac being a little magnanimous and generous to his, his, his counterpart, uh, uh, Sean, I might want to make him uh, leader of the opposition and might also want to give them the opportunity to name a senator so that they could have an, an extra person from in parliament. All these things are things that we are still tossing around and thinking about, but in maybe two to three weeks, we'll find out exactly what is the position. Okay, um, Sam, I got some information um, earlier that um, I think you had sent me something last year mm -hmm. um, around independence time where mm -hmm. People was in an uproar, not feeling the independent spirit because of the arrest of three of our citizens mm. um, for the weekend. Yep. I was made to understand that Shaq, his case was thrown out. That, yes, is, that yes. is over with. That is complete yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, I, I heard that. Yeah, so I am happy to hear that. Mm. As you know, that is what took me down to the mission for the demonstration last year. Yeah, yeah, with, that's which, right. uh, which um, some people had a problem with. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it was unfair that three of our citizens get arrested for, yes. I mean, representing the-, the, the um, Exercising the constitutional right, uh, yeah. the democratic right, yeah. And, I and agree the, with you. And, and the tear gas business. So I'm glad that- I supported all, that. Yeah, yeah, but I have to find out if the other two- um, I think ladies, so. I, I think I, I, I think we'll all steer them. I, I don't see why they would uh, release Shaq and, and hold the other two. Well, why I said that is because they had split the cases, you know. All of them okay. was all of them was arrested together. Yeah. And somewhere but along they the had line, different charges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somewhere along the line, they separate the cases and put Shaq by himself mm -hmm. and had them by themselves. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I do not know if it carry over. What's yeah. funny? What's funny? Um, when we were up at Shadwell doing the um. Mm -hmm monitoring of the, the, the poll there for Marsha. Uh -huh. There's a young lady that introduced herself to me when she finished voting, tell me she was the lady that was arrested as well. So I finally, okay. I finally met her for the first time. And when I look at the little girl, I mean, I couldn't see why they want to arrest this people. <laughs> you know, it's it, 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 it beyond me that you're going to arrest these people. There was no there was no, they didn't have a body to say, well, there's some boisterous uh, person that's going to beat up a police officer. No, violent, in, violent uh, you know, in, it was a, a peaceful, peaceful demonstration. Yeah. Just, a, yeah. you know. Yeah, Brother Curtis, welcome back. I see you dropped out. Um, how yeah. Are you how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing good. You see my things stick a little bit, but I'm doing wonderful. I'm listening to the conversation and the whole hoopla and everybody is speaking and saying what is wrong, what is not wrong, what is inappropriate, what is not inappropriate. Well, I hear to, to say certain things, what is inappropriate, because I'm going to say to you, Marisha, 
I support in you 1,000 percent and more. With all what you've been doing, all what you've been saying, you wasn't staying in the back. You was on the front. And some people is getting upset, but the truth must be told. When we were screaming and crying, you have said nothing wrong and do nothing wrong. You was on the ball in everything you do, Marisha. Because up to when I was screaming, saying that the people in the diaspora, oh, you got CNN up there. You all have NBC, you all have all these radio stations and TV stations. Please help us. Because we had an ambassador on a radio station, bomb base in the country, mashing up the citizen, abusing EK, abusing me. I mean, come on. And the same people you're saying had absolutely nothing to say. Marisha, I could remember, because I like the screenshot. February, April 8th, 2018, the same police lady who took the picture with Dr. Joe. When I was speaking about the injustice, and if you see some of this stuff, this lady was on Facebook. In the end, I said to her in one of the conversation, say, man, I just tell you, man is love, miss. Why are you behaving like this with us? Now she in a, up in the front line taking a picture with, with you and you mustn't say nothing. You call out name, you say me mother. Well, that is the facts if they want to, if she wanted to vex. That is the facts. We were screaming, you asked to come help, help. And some of them was in the back. Cook your hours on the radio. You playing politics and you this and you that. Sam Condor seemed there. When we had the first meeting, we was in the meeting when Stabby said, Dwyer said he would like to come and speak to you all. He didn't just bring them. The question was asked, Dwyer and Sam. And we said, no problem. Sam came and Sam was there from the beginning to the end and Dwyer. The people in the diaspora, some of them, when we were screaming for the help, especially them in the mission, when patches and the behavior were going on with us, nobody except the people where you went with. Some say the family here. Well, a young lady dead in Iran, the people all over Iran protesting, including them who in the foreign. So I think it's Timothy Harris is Afghanistan, the leader for Afghanistan. So they're free to stand up for us because they got people down here working. That is not no excuse. The excuse was lame. The problem with a lot of them, Marisha, they was afraid. They coward. And it's just like a lot of the TDC people now who are not running on the front line because the Prime Minister said he's going to be giving us something. Just stop the nurses and St. Kitts. Just stop the doctors. When the man them paid $27,000, St. Kitts should have shut down. The police, the nurse, the office, well, all of a sudden everybody went and telling you, Oh, well, we're supposed to get an Arabian. I ain't said they ain't supposed to get. But stand up for what belongs to you. And all you are saying, Marisha, to the nation, to our people, please help the people. And you know what, Marisha? You just talk about the people who get locked up. You know who was supposed to be arrested that Friday? Curtis Cook. Locked up and beat up. But I don't get the news. So when the incident was happening, I was on the other side. Is when I come to the and reach, I see Douglas. Douglas, I'm sorry. I thought, let's see you get locked up. I said, me? No, not me. That was the plan. Lock up coaches who can beat him up. Now, how can you lock up with citizens for Friday to Monday? And the people in the diaspora ain't raise hell except you. You know how me and I will come, good friend? I know some of you and she not very well. Here, me and I will come, good friend, Marisha. She seemed like she wasn't too much up in the politics. Independence Day last year was a Sunday. And I'm going to applaud her. She sent me a happy independent. I said to Avil, Avil don't send me happy independence. Main independence. I'm out of trouble with people don't get being tear gassed and all this thing going on. She said, what you saying? I said, yes. She said she had a guest. The Monday, Marisha and she's going to cancel the guests to accommodate me on the program. That's how I get on the program. And when I start to speak, 
at the injustice what was going on, she couldn't believe herself. Cause maybe so I guess she wasn't just the only thing that she not into the politics. I could understand that. But when I start to speak, the same Joe, the barrage of them out there in the diaspora, came and I will show and banging me. And he saw you know me, Marsha, I could talk. One of them said, oh, how come you only hear talk? He comes only here fire from TDC, where he don't go look, he drop, and oh, TDC was the opportunity to turn away because he's a bad worker. I mean, these people couldn't say more. Marsha, I worked with TDC for 25 years. You is a boss, you've been around work. Nobody could work for a company where you're here. 25 years and nothing on the record. Curtis Cook record was a much of those size confusion. 2015 at airport and the rest with TDC. And up to when they move me and put me billing materials, not one customer ever call up billing materials and say, Curtis Cook was a problem. My show you go back and forth to the airport. See Sam there going back and forth when he used to go. Never once. I had anything to say about Sam. I'll meet him in the street in tongue or something like that. Never once go over my boundary. But when I hear people saying the girl in the embassy is a professional, well, I agree. But Curtis Cook was the most professional on the airport. When Timothy traveled, who used to help? He bodyguard man will tell you that. I was the man who used to make sure everything was right. So you saying that what you was doing out there. And what you did this Saturday, Marisha, 1,000%, I agree. Because all of a sudden, these people could show up, take pictures with Joe, including with Labour people in this, all of them, some of them. Because when we was asking, Cook down there, how are you doing every minute on the radio, talking politics, keep off the radio, he going over, patches thing over and over, and this and that. These were the kind of pushback I was getting from the Labour people. Keep off the radio. You're going to know patches all the time. Take it easy. Well, if I did take it easy, Marisha, how we would end up with a Dr. Joe? And if I didn't stand up in many ways, this thing ain't just come from, from, from the labor section, you know. We had issues also that we didn't need a new leader. And we fight that we need a new leader. If I got to talk, me, he and a bunch of us, we could write a book because it was back belly and said we was getting it from we own people. So if we the guys, the, the set of youngsters, wasn't strong, was not strong to help the Jew, you could have seen some of the people who was on your life when you was talking about Jew being the leader, the dragon, when I say, when I don't drag Jew and all them, who are the people vote for them? And these was coming from top labor people. So some people now don't want people to expose and talk what happened. They don't want Marisha to call them out when the same people, because the same woman, you know, the police woman, you know, she children come on Facebook, you know, and Mar and call she, thing, you know, and say, you know, my mother don't behave like that. And you know, me Marisha, me don't argue with people. I just pull my files and I put it up because she on a new page now. The page where she was on the April 8, 2018 is a different page. I'm going to put it up and call Marshall them show. None of them answer me. But show me don't just talk. You know that. When I talk or when I got anything to do, I pull my files. And all I'm saying, when Sam Kondo and Dwyer, up to when we got marches down here, when Cook protesting down here, walk with my little son and balling for the injustice. Two injustice happen here. The airport. When Patches was nasty, breaching international airport rules, but you take me ID, call me a criminal. Nobody. Because, oh, you're going over the same thing all the time, but the airport, that is what was coming to. The last incident of what could take the vaccine, where you moving, sir? Take the vaccine, you're playing politics. This was some of the labor people. And now to find out, Marisha, the roofing, the contractor who was building the printry right in town, they stop him. Because he fixed Curtis' roof. Curtis come on the way and said thanks to him and the other guy when I didn't know. Is this year find out now that the man said he still got the check in the chance. Where us but the souls of them say he have to pay to fix the roof. But people in this community who was building, a, 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 had a building and they put up the construction to make the part, the rest of the building. The top piece. Some get galvanized. But don't fix Curtis and Terry Roof. If you go over the village now, Marisha, show your house. Nobody lived in the house over 10 years. Full of bush. 
and they fix that. There's a house right next door full of girls in the They help the young man because he's a labor. And with people in diaspora, when all of this was going on, because you could remember the life and the shitty thing, and they sit down in the diaspora out there and look at us being suffering when you were balling. Where was them? Eh? When Marisha Ike was attacked, ugly, we dumb because we ain't taking the vaccine by patches. One man come and patch you and say, Lord, I'm dead. We ain't taking the vaccine. Where was we people? Where were some of these people in the diaspora who know you're saying? Because some of them same people wasn't for Dr. Drew to become the leader. They're putting on a show. The truth must be told. The truth, the truth must be told. Nobody next to them. But all you were saying, Marisha, and I agree with you. Because some people now saying the girl, I listened to some last week, the girl in the embassy was a professional, I agree. Well, Curtis Cook was a professional in the airport for 15 years. But Timothy didn't see that. Nobody said it was a time and place to take from my ID. Because there was nothing on the airport on my record. To, because remember, I wasn't working for the airport, Marisha. I keep people telling so. I now work for government. I was working for TBC. There was nothing on my record to say, take my ID. But you take me ID and call me high risk. A lot of them may say it was inappropriate. And this is the problem I'm having with some of the people. Because they don't want you to speak the truth of what happened. And it's a labor people problem. You must just move on. Yes, we're going to move on. But we must expose them. Because we was in a very awkward situation down here, my brother. Look what happened when Timothy said, who out there out? Some of the same people for house, they got land, they come here to do everything, and they sit out there and allow Timothy to tell us who out there. Lock us in. When Timothy at the Marriott, we can't come out. I remember we had a meeting. They said, let me go home for 8 o'clock because we are locked down. I said, where are you going? When we come outside, all the cars heading to Marriott. We people in the house, for some of them sit down, and said nothing. Nobody come tell me nothing. Nobody call me phone to come tell me about oh, oh, defending Marisha. Defending Marisha a thousand percent. Because as I say, and including Sam Kanda and Doe and them. Because when we was calling the match and the this and the that, Sam was showing up. Doe was showing up. Dr. Drew was showing up. Even some of your own TDC people didn't show up. Because some of your own TDC people say, Cook, oh, playing politics, he can make us say and get me money. That was the kind of backlash you was getting from everybody. But I had a mission. My mission was to stand up, fight back, because I believe in Rosa Park. I believe in Mandela. And people like you, Marisha, the same from Ghana and Dwyer. When I see these men coming out in solidarity for us, I couldn't ask nothing else better. But I was very disappointed in a lot of my TDC workers. But they're putting out their hand today to get money. Nothing wrong with that. I'm happy for them. Why well, mustn't talk them kind of ways there? That's what I want people to do. Just move on. When you was crying out for help for a lot of them to instant kids. Let us stand up. Let us oh, yeah, as a play politics. Everything for him is politics. Well, everything for Tim wasn't politics. Well, the government ain't politics. Everything in the country must be politics. But what are we living in? If you're attacking me, oppressing me and my people, what are supposed to do? When I see people in Saturday morning. Marisha in tongue, hug me up for four or five people, crying tears. You will be voice. You know, I'm Sunday going over my over mansion. We over the playing cricket. Are you man? I know him too. What beauty and so. Marisha, when somebody getting married, the kneeling in front of the woman, I sitting on a bench, the man kneeling. Everybody there, kneeling in front of me, shake my hand. But cook, thank you for saving the country. Everybody, somebody sees over picture. Everybody start to laugh. Eh? Man, all we were saying, Marisha, you. Was doing the utmost best that to say, and, and you know, you know, the problem I got with so many people. Marisha was saying Douglas was going back wrong, directed Marisha. Marisha said, Look, I can support unity, which is nothing wrong with that, because he didn't like what Douglas was doing. Okay, directed Marisha. Now, Marisha said, Bye, I, I can support labor. May like what going on. I mean, may like what going on with unity. I left and I did say good. And if Marisha started to say what going on with labor, then, but I mean, I'll work to do yet. I've read to when people jacking on the country. And Sam could tell you again, I had a force it thing in before you happen. You Sam there? Because you was there the Thursday when I said to Sam, and all the things that went on, I the only man left. I went to Sam and he landed as a man. I said, Sam, look at that. All the fight we had in the wrangle are still here for you. When the people in this community 
You expect they say they're going with Sam. Now after Timothy do Sam so bad, you expect them to say, oh, yeah, we started in solidarity with Sam. They left. Me and gone away. And I said, Sam, all of them gone. Remember what we talk about the Thursday. I'm still here because I'm not moving. Everybody didn't tell him to make the mistake. He learned from his mistake. He's good guy. I keep telling people, he man up, he come out, and he speak out. As far as I see, nothing wrong with that. There is a thing we need to talk about. People need to do like Sam and you and Dwyer. Them is the people I looking at, or you look up to, or you. You know why? Because I didn't afraid to say what went wrong, and I seen it was wrong, and I plan to change the wrong and I go into again. And if so, labor going wrong, but labor supposed to call out of going wrong, and that's the problem of killing us right now. A lot of, lot of these people, because they were seeing something wrong, but we refused to call. You hear me call out with Congress before we get here, and I come and say, look, I am at the biggest, the panels I had offend you, I apologize, but at the end of the day, I want back my seat, let us walk together. Look what happened. Look what happened, let me be today. You know what people say, cook by your voice. Some of me walking to the other to hide, and he fell on the radio. Independence Day, four fellows standing up there by, to go up by the army camp, dressed in the suit. They said there's mock. They don't do the, 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 the parliament. Marisha walk out to the guys who didn't know them. I shake the hand. So we're going on, guys. I said, man, who are you guys? He said, we're the guys who do the parliament. Even before I finished talk, the fella said, man, yeah, we know your coach is cook. We listen to a lot of your life and we'll follow you. I said, look, when I go in parliament, don't be afraid to speak up and stand up. If it's something about the government talk up, don't be afraid, don't let nobody muzzle on you as young people. So I'm saying this to say that. People listening, but there's some of the people out there who walk out, cook out the talk politics. And most of the kids in bars there, we're going on cook waiting, but we don't listen to you live. We don't pay attention to you. But they couldn't see. Because all they say, cook and the radio with the same thing. But we used to hear them mother them, mother them, mother them, mother them, mother them, mother them. Was any input? Which mother them today? Where the vaccine card today? Where the vaccine card? Timothy take a, a booster. We, look where we be. We had music festival. We had carnival. I mean, we had um, um, election. Nobody was saying that they don't want to take the vaccine. From the beginning, here, me say, my show. My friend take vaccine. Everybody take vaccine. My mother take the vaccine. Congress take vaccine. Douglas take vaccine. I all I used to say to you, my show. I am a comfortable with the vaccine. One my friend passed, look at her, she gone on. When a lady going to tell me the other day that, and look how bad get here, she's walked to this, you know. She ended up had a nervous, she ended up had depression because she and her husband had to make a decision. It's no wicked thing to them, but you know. The man said, her husband, he said, you know what? You don't take the vaccine. I will take the vaccine. And anything happened to me, make sure you look after me, child. These are the kind of decisions we have to be making in St. Kitts. Some people take the vaccine because they got a little pill. Nobody did care. Nobody is trying to listen to us. We wasn't in America, so the vaccine was banging. The COVID was banging. We was here when we was locked down. When they bring in the, the, the Argentina man. But you're blaming us, the citizens, because all we're saying to you, Lord, give us a little chance. Let us make a decision. We got with children. You think if the girl didn't know this would happen, should they take a vaccine? Man, we should nobody to care about us. They didn't care if we died up here. Nobody to care if the whole of us, especially EK, me, Steve, all of us. Because patches the most and a lot at us. Even when I get the COVID, I had to hide it. You know, good thing people know me. No man said, no, Coca can't let him go like that. The nurse was dealing with me. We had become good friends because she said, Coca know you. You used to me tell, you used to hear me talk, you hear me talk about all the time. Mm -hmm. The COVID nurse who you, today, my brother, we are very good friends. We talk every morning because 
people realize while this youth man here, what he's saying and what he's doing is to help all of us. And he wasn't fighting for me. I was fighting for my children's future and other people's future. So when a lot of them wasn't listening, yeah, I was on the radio. He sound angry. Marisha, who shouldn't sound angry with what I went through? The fellow who running the place in Russia with the gun. Not sure you're a criminal. But you walk up in the army. And if I shoot up this place, I can't hang a life. But I'm in the army and I get more jail. So what do you think I'm going to walk out? I'm going to shoot up the place. Because I'm going to get less time. So all we was asking for Marisha and people like you and Sam and Dwyer just asking for help. Are you out there? Help us. We have to end up do it on my own. All was asking for is the help. These people are treating us like we're criminal. Eke can't eat. Don't fix Curtis Cook roof. Don't fix Terry Adams roof. Crush all ones against them. Crush them. And the people in the diaspora who are used to ball out on the way of Lord help us. When I look at your life, you ain't got 150 people. They call police for you down by the mission. And nobody say that wasn't appropriate. But all of a sudden, Marisha at the function, speaking and the wicked people were there at the function, who was a part of the people who was oppressing us, it become, oh, it's not appropriate. It was appropriate when they lock up Douglas police. It was appropriate when they tell Douglas he cannot drive in and walk on the red carpet, who was a former prime minister of this country. Was that appropriate? When Timothy sent the police with the letter in the, for the pastor in the church, was that appropriate? Look at all you do people after election. You go up in government quarters and you skinning out people back and off anything. Was them thing appropriate? Look at Patrick's behavior at the airport. Was them thing appropriate? All of a sudden, Marisha standing up for us as he normally do. Oh, I want to tell him it, it wasn't appropriate and I can think based on what happened. And the idiot on last night talking about the shipping. Oh, I want to see me talk, Patches. Oh, you're singing for supper and all kind of The old clown. Patrick, you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, I hope the age of an act about the tinning fence. But Patrick, you had seven years. Seven years, you can't show me nothing about Douglas. In a short month coming up, celebration. How much thing we hear, we seen and watching? We got to be real. And Marisha, you did nothing wrong. And if you have to do it again, do it. Because if I was there, you might have mashed up. But because of the Jew, I will respect you. But if I was there, I would speak up. We used to see Joe on Facebook. Joe's all over Facebook. Not like Joe give information on Douglas thing where we bank and all anything was given out. He used to call the radio live. But Joe came to sing kids. Seven of them and register in your town. That was okay. And he said live. That was appropriate. Labor people, I need to wake up. Some I need to wake up. We too soft, that's why we end up where we end up. Because we are always sympathetic. Nothing wrong with that. But when we're being crucified, I from the old school, I can stand up. I was teach that way, I was trained that way. That's one thing Mama Edna used to tell me. Stand up, cook. Make sure you ain't getting in trouble, but stand up. Don't let nobody do you no shippiness. Me never have trouble maker, my wish All the years you know me, I just say. You never know me to be trouble. And everybody in the circles who you've been around who know me will they'll tell you that. But Cook is a nice guy. Cook is a loving guy. He's the most helpful guy. But don't mess on the wrong side of me. Because I'm going to react. Nobody tell me don't react. I have to react. I'm going to defend myself. And that's the problem. People must accept constructive criticism. Because you ain't doing nothing wrong, Mar Marisha. You was always there for us. He was always there for the nation. How you could tell me that Patches and them keeping big function in America, in the embassy, and Labour done in power? Labour in power, but Mary Shaka and get XYZ, them they're in embassy. Why are mm. you telling people? But they ain't got respect for we people. And that's all I'm saying, and I'm going to continue saying it. And I'm going to support you who vex Mary That is their problem. It is not a personal nothing. But Marisha stand the ground for our people. And what you did, hey, my brother applaud you. And if the Labour Party going wrong, Marisha is the first to tell you, speak out. Listen again. If the Labour Party going wrong, Marisha is the first to tell you, 
Speak out. I don't have a problem with your commentary. We need to know. We vote for change and vote for what is right. So some people go, oh, I'm is a labor. But man, some of them is afraid to speak up, stand up, and be counted. I will speak up, stand, in, stand up, and be counted. Sing this belongs to all of us. Some of us just know that. When Timothy was in, it was about Tim. Shut up, Cook. Shut up, Big Steve. Lock them up. Beat them up. Keep them off the radio. But today, the same set of people were supporting hard. Remember, Drew, Drew Amos was the doctor license. Drew had patients in the hospital, couldn't go see them. Where was somebody we own labor people to ball out? Where was them? When the youth man cannot go in J and F, but that was appropriate. We had people working in the embassy and all these things. The Pemberton and all of them, that was appropriate, manager. We only use the word when it suits us, but now all of a sudden we're trying to be nice. We're trying to be nice. I speak you know, all the time. I ask for help. I don't have a problem. You call up my mother name. If she works well, that's me. It. But the facts are the facts. The facts and the truth is the fact. They was out there to help us. We was asking for help. Please help. Some of them afraid. And who ain't afraid? Oh, cook, I play politics. If someone tell you, you know, some of the same TVC staff. Now we used to come. Some could tell you. Sam used to put himself out the way as a union man to come educate us about the union. We can't have six them in, we couldn't get four to them in, in the hall. But today, the chat busy. And you mustn't talk. When Sam was coming, Sam was on the front line with Doyle. Oh, they might play politics. How oh, we become politics? Now we should continue talking. And I can continue talking. When I see it fit to talk, because the injustice, the people need to know, the world need to know, and you did nothing wrong. So nobody call me and tell me oh, I supported Marshall. Because when I was asking for the support from the same people, oh, I said, Cook, take the vaccine, man. Stop playing politics. Stop playing this. Stop playing that. Well, too bad. Continue with Marshall. You got my full support anytime, and not just me. Including Danny Rollins. Including Danny Rollins. The girls, them from Rams. Source and them other people. You have with support. Because you guys was there for us. You was spreading the word for us. The same Joe did an interview with you after the match. May I see the people in the house for him kick up after that. Joe did the interview. You could remember. He went funeral. When Mr. Waitle, when he come. And he speak to you. Where was them same people in the diaspora? They said, what? This is what's going on in the country? All them sit back. But all of a sudden, they want to sit up front. Dr. Drew, Dr. Drew. They, they, really? You don't work like that. The truth must be told. So if you're ending this, jump in. I think I'm going to pause here. Um, you know, Curtis, you, you said a mouthful there, but I also want to bring some into it because I can recall when I first start having this program and I reach out to Sam and Dwyer for their input. Actually, Dwyer reached out to me first. I, I had just came out of quarantine, maybe a day out of quarantine. I got a call from Dwyer. Told me he got my number from my cousin Tia Clark and uh, he wanted to ask me a few questions. And um, following the conversation, he realized that um, I was on point with the information I was given. As a matter of fact, I have a WhatsApp there someplace that Dr. Douglas sent me, telling me great um, advice on the COVID situation and whatever. He appreciates my input. When I reach out to Sam, Sam and I have always been communicating while he was ambassador and even after. But with the attacks that were coming left, right, and center against Sam and Dwyer, I know that they have a family and I didn't want to get them into any situation. It was not a good feeling, a good comfortable um, feeling for me because the first couple of weeks that I had Dwyer and Sam coming on, it was a lot of cussing on Facebook for them from these same people, these same labor people. A lot of labor people laminate them. 
And I had to say to them, you know, whatever reason Sam and Dwyer had went with Timothy, they had to go. They're back now. They want to help the situation. Allow them to help. That is how life is. People have a right to change their mind. Joe was my barber, you know, guys. And I go to the barber shop um, on occasions. And Joe is there showing me Douglas bank statements in New York. He is also telling me about this check that Douglas name was supposed to be on and whatever. Lennox Lebert was in the barbershop one day, the same papers. And Lennox told you he don't want to see the paper because that's jail work. Nobody tells Joe he was wrong. However, he get Joe don't work in the bank. So how was Joe able to get Douglas bank statements unless somebody in the bank that he know was able to give him those information? I called Douglas about it. Douglas never returned my call because at the time, it appeared as though he didn't like the things I said to him. I think I have a right to tell whether prime minister, preacher, doctor, or lawyer, my opinion. If I disagree with you, I'm going to let you know. I'm not going to send a message to you. But at the time, Douglas didn't like what I have to say, so he did not um, took my call or return my call. I could also say maybe he did not get my messages. But I want to believe that at the time, Jordan and them guys, when I called, they would give Douglas my message. I don't see any reason for them not to give Douglas my message. But there was a lot of underhanded stuff went on. And many of these people, like I said, at that church service, but at the church service was one thing, but I said the church service was over. It was the aftermath with the chaos taking the pictures. It's the same people that had Dr. Jew to kill. The same people all up in his face. Now they're telling me they know him for 40 and 50 years. Well, if you know Dr. Jew for all these years, then how come you were campaigning against him to become the leader of the Labour Party? Why you were so strong against him? Why, when the, the government was dissolved after all the information you all get, why you all were so strong against Dr. Jew to become prime minister? And if you all were so strong against him in all of those times and attacking me and attacking Sam and attacking Dwyer, how you all feel for composing the number hug up and I, I talk to him in the face and I take pictures? I'm going to tell you all something, you know. I saw a meeting at the Marriott a couple of days ago. And then the meeting was this week or last week. And I see some individuals in that meeting in positions. Many of those people said to me while I was in St. Kitts, prior to the elections, you know, that the person that I am campaigning for in Dr. Joe, I'm going to find out he was than uh, Timothy Harris. This was said to me. And I was shocked that I'm hearing this from these people. These are labor people telling me this. Not Pam and PLP, Labour people telling me that the person I'm campaigning for in Dr. Joe, I'm going to find out he was on Timothy Harris. Well, Sam, you remember you, you and Dwyer telling me somebody told you all that? Yep. Did it work out to be true? Mm -hmm. No, no, mm, answer. Leg your tongue on your teeth. Answer me. No, no, no. My my approach is my approach i've been doing this longer than you and everybody yes else yes now. my boy answer the question my and son. i know i know leadership requires and demands certain responsibility and that is yeah. what i want to do leadership yeah, but, don't yeah, but allow some, you to be but some, any way you want not to behave. behave you okay told me on this program before yeah and i want to confirm it for the people online yeah, yeah. Well, that somebody I, told you all yeah. that Timothy, the person you are trying to put into office is worse than Dr. Douglas. All I want is a yes or no. I've said that publicly a million times. Yes, I just want I you to clarify it. The point, I am, not in question. The, the point I am trying to make here is this. No matter yeah. what they say about Dr. Joe, yeah. I don't believe that will be this case. <laughs> I stand by it. I don't believe that will be in this case, but I'm just telling you yeah. that there are people that you are appointing on boards and putting in committees down there. Labour supporters that are seen in these committees now, they don't have no good for Dr. John, they still don't. So, so, so that is not something for us to be discussing publicly. Uh, I'm gonna, but Sam, I choose mm -hmm. to do it and I'm going to do it. 
Yeah, well, 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 I don't want to do that with you. So then stay silent. I don't and, want to do that. Stay with silent you. on that. Yeah, and you, absolutely. And you after, I don't want to do that with you. I am saying no. Look, look, once you once you appoint a man as a leader, right? You have to respect his decisions and so on. I mean, the the, the, the time will come when you're gonna have to uh, address those things. Dr. Drew is in office for two months. Tomorrow is the 5th of October. He was elected on the 5th of August. Who is attacking Dr. Drew right now? We are having a conversation. We are having three of us here having a conversation yeah. right now. Who is attacking uh -huh. Dr. Drew at the moment? No, you're saying that the, the things that Dr. Drew did, all the, all the people he put on boards. I mean, that is no. not, this is not Sam, time for this I am right now. I am bringing it to the public attention. Yeah. And I'm putting them on notice. Yeah. Dr. Joe is doing a job because he's the Prime Minister of the people. Right. People have to get to work. Right. He's the Prime Minister of St. Kitts Nevis. I am saying to you, uh -huh. from first hand knowledge, uh -huh. as the person who was campaigning, uh -huh. that I see people now in positions uh -huh. who have told me personally, I am saying it because I have a right to say it. Marisha, I'm saying there's a time and place for everything. There's a time and place for everything. The, the, the women have been two months. I mean, you want what to go that, for. What that have to do with what I'm saying, Sam? <laughs> what the prime minister have been there for two months have to do with what I am saying? So, so, so the prime minister should ask you who should put on board? No, I'm not saying that, Sam. What he should do? The Prime Minister have his job to do. I cannot tell the Prime Minister what to do. I am yeah. saying uh -huh. that the people out there now jacking in yeah. and acting that their support for Labour Party. I am saying, uh -huh. you uh -huh. knew, you knew the struggles. Yeah. You know what the Prime Minister went through. I am saying yeah. that, like we have always you said, it? is that everybody huh? that pretend to be your friend are your friend. Everybody got to work. The Prime Minister will find out who is who in time to come. Yeah. I am saying. People out there might question what you did, might question what I did, and mm -hmm. have a lot to say who yeah. was not doing anything. Yeah, yeah. What they was doing was undermining the situation. Yeah. What they are benefiting now, they have jobs now. Uh, Marsha, the people, you know, Labour just win an overwhelming election, a majority, an emphatic, definite win. What that, that work. have to do with the conversation that I'm saying? Because I don't believe we should be having a conversation criticizing all these things right criticizing now. Criticizing who? You're saying all the people who are Sam, born shouldn't be Sam, born. That's not that. the conversation that I, we should be having. Sam, I did not say that and I will speak truth to power. Many of them that are on board, many of them that have yeah. jobs, yeah. did not support Dr. Drew and the Labour Party. <laughs> Even though they are Labour supporters, there was a divide. Whether you want to Satan, that is up to you. Look, let I, me tell you something. You know all as... the people. You know all the people who voted for Dr. Shu Joe. No. Exactly. And I, so and why, I, and I will so never know. I, I am saying what I know. I cannot say what I don't know. <laughs> I mean, all the people. I cannot say what I don't know, Sam. I the am Labour saying Party, what I know. The Labour Party, the Labour candidates win every box in the country, every single box in an emphatic, overwhelming way. That what? is a Word of confidence Sam, in the Labour Party I, Sam, and how the Labour Party to operate and do its work. Sam, I am not going down that road about how much win. We know the percentage of voters. The facts are sure. the facts. I'm not running from the facts. You know, you want to run from it, fine. I am speaking sure. to power. There are people currently didn't lift a finger to do anything that was cussing me, that was cussing you, that was cussing EK, that was cussing Dwyer, and they all they're now getting work. And that, that I'm going to say it. They know who they are. I'm not calling that, your name. They know who they are. Past. That is past. That is past. Let us move on and run the country. But I'm not running the country. Let us move on and run the country. I am not that running the no country. Help. I am not running the country. I am talking truth to power. You do things your way. <laughs> I am talking truth to power. Right? When they're out, they're running them out, they're going to answer them. You want to stay quiet? It's fine with me now. Yes, Brother Curtis, go ahead. Yeah, I was saying, <laughs> listening to the conversation. I don't think, I think some kind of misunderstanding a little bit what you're saying. And what you're saying, some there's some... Some may misunderstand, some know exactly what you're doing. You're right. There's Trust some truth to it. Curtis, 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 
Sam know exactly what he's doing. That's why I'm going to answer Sam. You understand? Yeah. I am going to speak yeah, to, to power. Sam knows exactly what he's saying. But go ahead and speak. This, this is counterproductive. This is not helping anybody. It's not helping you. It, no, it, nobody. It is not helping no. anybody, including am, you. No, I am going this to speak. This is not helping anybody. I am going to speak the fact, Sam. Yeah, but Sam. <laughs> Sam. What? Sam. Yeah. If I understand, right, yeah. what Marsha is saying. Yeah. And he has a point. Because you see, all he's saying again, highlighting the same thing we said. During the campaign, the These campaign people. is over. This is governing. This is running the country. The Some campaign government. is over. This is we governing. Understand that. Let, let, let me tell you something. Some, let, let, some. let me tell you something. That election, Dr. Drew was able to bring in the diaspora up in New York. The most people ever gathered for a function in 39 years. That is what we're supposed to be talking about. Yeah, but who would answer? To bring more people, the most people in 39 years. That is Hold undisputed. On. Everybody can that. that is what we we're going to focus on. We're not, we're not, wait, 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 wait. Don't get twisted. Wait a minute, Zako. Sam, you came online. Yeah. I asked if you have anything to say. Yeah. You say what you had to say. Yeah. You say you have nothing else to say at the moment, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I decided to choose a topic. Cook decided to choose a topic. You cannot tell us what topic to choose. You can stay quiet, but you cannot tell us what traffic, you cannot tell us what, what to say, what our mind is. I'm the moderator of this program. I choose a topic. You don't know what topic to choose. Yeah. You have a way to comment on the topic. Yeah. You will give your opinion. Yeah. But you cannot tell me what my opinion is. Yeah, no, but I'm, I'm not Sam, doing that. I'm not doing that. Sam, I am saying Sam. that I have a right to say that what you are doing is not helping anyone. Well, that is your opinion. And we, you don't make a sense. You. You, don't have, you don't make a sense right now, but you're not going to stop. We're gonna but have some, a conversation whether you like it some, or not. That's You're not gonna stop me. That's, that's, that's okay. Okay. I am not here to do the party politics. I'm here to deal with the facts. Well, Sam. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. What saying? Go ahead, brother. Uh, no, yeah, we're saying something. Yeah, what you say. If I understand it, good. Yeah, me. Yeah. Nobody knocking the people for saying the diaspora. We happy for them because they. But we say though, there's a set of people from yeah. the diaspora. Not just a diaspora, right there on the ground. Well, hold on, I'm going to come to that on the ground too. Because you see, if I say certain things tonight, our hell going to break loose. But let's leave it like that. There's certain people who he's saying, I tell everybody, these people, that's the point. We can't just move on because guess what? Some of them same people was doing everything in their power to make sure that Dr. Joe does not become the leader. That's the facts. Now, on the ground here, we have these same people, as the man saying to you, still in the position, up there, still messing with the ordinary man. You ain't seen it. You ain't seen it, you know. All we're saying, all the man is saying, my brother, the, these are the people who was there in the fierce of the prime minister then, when people was fighting for him. Nothing wrong with them coming away, but all you're saying though, the same people, they know the role, they had the role to play, and they was playing the role. Based on the role then, you gotta be very careful with the role now. Nobody trying to match up nothing. We're talking reality in life. We're talking the reality of what was going on. And some people don't want to hear the truth. So all we're saying, hey, this this what happened, this what We are still have to make sure that these people are the genuine, are they on a mission to say, see that? I tell you so. Because I see certain things, Sam, personally, right now, and I've been through it, you know. Me, yeah. You know. But me can say it. Because as you said, though, it's not appropriate to say. But I just say to say to you with what Marisha is saying. Don't take it lightly. Don't take people lightly. You got people, and that's what the man is saying, you know. I cannot. And I was surprised to see leading up to the to, to the leadership. 
the way how we people, some of them at the top, was behaving. You wonder, are they really labor people? So may I want to hear about how much people drew bring in. We, no, we, we understand that. Because them people who come, they was genuinely ready for it. But I'm all the man is saying to you though. But what about them there? The few we just tell you about. But we're proud of everybody, we love everybody, we want everybody. But all we're saying though, the truth must be told. That's why we ended up we ended up all these years in the team, you know. Because everything for some people, leave it alone. Leave it alone. And if we had leave all these foolishness alone, you could have seen the next election. If Tim did win this election, maybe you might have locked you up too. If Tim did. Because <laughs> gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen, um, running a half an hour over time, I already stand by. <laughs>
gentlemen. Pede will come. Only time will deal with all of the conversation we have in this evening. Um, like I said, um, 40 minutes over time. I'm going to be looking to shut down shortly. So um, your final words, guys. Um, Curtis? Yeah, well, it's nice. I, I'm thank, I want to thank you again, Marisha, for having me on the show tonight. It's a pleasure being with you and Sam Kandi tonight. And as, as Sam said too, we got to move forward, yes. You know? We definitely have to move forward. But people still have to vent and get, you know, there's a lot of things people need to, you know, vent. And yeah, sure. sometimes we have to come out. You know, it might not, people might not like it, but it is what it is. Because we end up in a lot of awkward situations. Sing has never ever been through something like this before Why? in history. Why? We've never been in something like this before. Where one man terrorized the country. One man put people against each other. The man mash up, destroy, do everything you could think about this country for all he personal gain. And I'm saying sometimes. People, people have to give people a chance to vent, and I believe, as you say, it's time to go forward, and I believe in going forward for the betterment of the country, whatever they, whatever I can do as usual to help. You know me, Marisha, I'm willing to help. This is me home. Me ain't got nowhere else to go. This, I love my country. Me ain't run out my country for seven years. But as soon as the government changed, we can't find the former prime minister. But yet he said he loved this country. No independent speech. Nothing to the nation of substance since he, he, he last election. Absolutely nothing. I'm happy on what happened in the fifth. And all I'm saying that to our new prime minister, my brother, Dr. De Dr. Drew. Keep your head high, my brother. Keep your head high. Do what you have to do for the betterment of your people. You come from humble beginning and you understand what it's like to be poor. You understand it all. And I'm happy for you. I'm happy for your team. And I'm wishing my country, sink it and leave it, all the best in going forward. And all the people then, I hope that I can wake up now and understand what me, you, Steve, and everybody was speaking about. That we need now to give the Prime Minister all of the support we can. All. He's going to need it all. He's not going to be perfect. That is why we are here to do. To correct him. To correct the team. Not when we see something because we're supporting the party, don't want to say. That is not going to take us anywhere. We need to support him, but we also need as a people when they're going wrong, speak out. Because this is what happened to us seven years ago. You had people who seen the wrong, could smell the wrong, and sit back and just let him do as he like. So my people again, I want, it, I want to say, let us please give them all the support. And again, if they're going wrong, there's nothing wrong in calling out the wrong. Sam Kondo, Again, I want to thank you so much for being there when we were screaming with the TDC issue at the union. I want to thank Dwyer so much also, who was there. And Marisha, I want to give you a big, big thank you too. Because when we were screaming, he was there. And all the people, Chris in England, EK, everybody who was there. Avril, everybody, please, I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Because if you all wasn't there for us, I don't know where our country would have been today. It's, it's a little of everybody make an input. And even the people who was supporting, thank you all for giving me the energy to fight and fight on for a dream come true. That my people are in a very good position today. Thank you guys, Marisha, thank you for having me. Thank you, Brother Curtis. And um, you said a mouthful there, um, Curtis, and 
this is my position where I'm at. I mean, I am in observation mode and I will stay in observation mo mode and I will speak truth to power whenever I come on this program because this is what I'm here for. Um, people are different. They approach things differently. And I know people, some people may want to see a perfect Labour Party. There's nobody perfect. There's not going to be nothing perfect about them. And not because you bring up an issue, meaning that you are criticizing the Prime Minister or you're cussing the Prime Minister. You're bringing up something that you observe. And any one of us have the right to do that. And who have a problem with that is tough. But DJ Marisha started the way he did, and he will continue the way he started. To be honest to my online listeners, to take their opinions, sensitize them. Because anyone can look at a situation and see it two, three, four, five different ways. But DJ Marisha have his way, and DJ Marisha think about things before he said them. He does not just say them, he think. I have no fear. I have nobody to please. I don't have to be politically correct. I don't have to pronounce any particular word in a particular way. Gwyneth know who I am. When I speak, she know that I've been thinking about what I'm saying before I speak. And when it's done, I stand by it. And if it's gonna cause me pain, I am prepared to deal with that pain. Doctor, do you know how we met? Doctor, do you know I reached out to him because he was under attack by members of his own Labour Party during the time of the leadership campaign. That is how we met. I did my public polling and he came out on top. I supported him then, I supported him now, and he got my full support. But whenever I observe anything, not a Juni Libor, not a Sam Kanda, not a Dwyer Astaf, not a Curtis Cook will tell me how to make my presentation. I will make it the way it's fit. Your final thoughts, Brother Sam? Yeah, um, again, always a pleasure to be here. This is my life uh, speaking to my country. I believe that life is not a little candle. Life is a torch, which we get a moment in time, very short moment to, to hold. But we have to try to get this torch burning as brightly as possible before we pass it on to the next generation. And that is my mantra, that is my mandate, to make this world a better place for future generations. I want, as I wrap up, to reflect on the past election. Tomorrow will be the 5th of October, two months. According to our constitution, the government has to call the opening of parliament um, 90 days. So by the 5th of November, we should have a parliament, but it is my view that we'll have a parliament in two to three weeks time. I want to congratulate the government, the prime minister and the rest of the government for the way they have conducted themselves so far. They have been, in my view, uh, efficient, effective, accessible, um, able to address some of the urgent needs of the country. And I want to commend them and congratulate them and compliment them for that. I want to compliment them on the the independence activities, I think we had some excellent uh, activities. Uh, the, the Prime Minister's lecture series was one of the best that I've seen in the 39 years. Uh, the, the parade, I want to um, congratulate uh, the Governor's General Deputy for taking the, 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 the salute and the march for us. Uh, a woman who has done tremendous service to our country over the years as a, a teacher, as a, a minister of government, as a uh, speaker of the house, and now uh, occupying the highest office in the land. Uh, I want to uh, commend those folks at the church service, the 
the, 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 the minister who brought the message, a most powerful message about bringing us to, in terms of uh, our independence, our patrimony, and, and what that means to us. And I want to commend them for the entire um, independence celebration. And then next was to the UN. And I want to commend them for the work they did, uh, the way they represented us uh, at, at, at the UN. I think they did an excellent job. In fact, I was hearing on, on ground news last Friday, one person mentioned the prime minister's address and Mayor Motley, which he thought were two of the best uh, presentations. And I want to associate myself with, with those sentiments. I think the prime minister and the delegation represented us well. And I want to commend them for that. I want to commend the, the prime minister and the team, the delegation for the activities with the diaspora, the nationals abroad, the cocktail reception, joined the biggest crowd in 39 years. That says a lot to me. And I want to mention what he said and to commend that to all of us. The prime minister said not only at the cocktail reception, but at the church service, that he is the prime minister. He's the prime minister of everybody. Those who were against him, those who voted against him, those who voted for him, he's the prime minister. He said it not only once, but he said it twice at the cocktail reception and at the church service. He's the prime minister for everybody. I think he has uh, performed outstandingly. And I want to commend our nationals. I mean, I've never seen a, a crowd like that, uh, like I say, in the 39 years uh, to a celebration. I want to thank him. There's more work to be done. And the prime minister, they came back. And now it's the opening of parliament, the opening of parliament, which is um, uh, another important milestone uh, in, in, in our uh, short uh, stint so far since the elections. Uh, we will hear the tone speech and we're waiting to hear the issues that the, that the, um, the, 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 the prime minister will be laying out, uh, the policy statements and how he intend achieving those. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, that is the next activity. And so I just want to give uh, the, the prime minister and the, and the cabinet all the support. And I also want to commend all the members of parliament because the opening of parliament is not for the government, it's for all parliamentarians. We have six elected members on the, on the government side and we have five uh, uh, elected members on the opposition benches. And I want to commend all of them and I want to wish them uh, a good uh, term in office uh, on the opposition and in the government because it is the entire parliament that will pass the laws to advance our country. And so I want to, to uh, let them know that the elections are gone. It is now about governing. And I want our, our, the entire country because we, we cannot build our country. We cannot develop our country on 50% of the population. Our central weapon, we want everybody. And so I want people to understand the elections are passed and it's now governing and building our country. And I want to end as I started that life is not a candle. It is a torch which we get to hold for a brief moment. And our duty is to make it burn as brightly as possible to pass it on to the next generation. That is what I see as my role and our responsibility. And I intend to do that and nothing else. Thank you very gentlemen for having me. My pleasure and I look forward to future uh, discussions. Appreciate your guys' closing statements, well, and the money and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Sam, I am someone that I does a lot of reflections. Mm -hmm. And I have confidence in our people. I know, yep. they're, I know they're not dumb, they're educated people. Mm -hmm. And I have cause on many occasions to question my people, just as I question myself. I don't need to tell you, I don't need to tell Curtis or Dwyer, 